Hi, I'm Ellen with Bell Farm, and it's March 8th, 2021. And this is the time of year that I start getting a lot of questions from beekeepers about whether or not they should be reversing the brood boxes on their hives. And we do, um, we do that process a little bit differently here. And so I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of explain what we do, um, how we do it and why. So this is one of our hives that has overwintered and it's obviously active, they're doing well. So we're gonna open this up and we'll take a look. And you might be, um, you might be wondering if we run our hives in three deeps, we do not. Um, this top deep is actually an empty box. So it's basically just a shim that is around our um, emergency sugar that we have in there for winter. So at this point in the year, most of the bees have moved up and they're pretty much all in the upstairs box at this point. Um, your hives should have brood going queens start laying again around the winter solstice, so they should have been laying for at least a couple months at this point. Um, the, generally, the idea behind reversing brood boxes is that if your bottom box is empty, you would put it on the top and then it gives the bees kind of the idea that they have more room so they can continue moving upward. The problem that I see with doing that this time of year is that we still don't have any um, actual nectar coming in. And so the bees are still relying on this emergency sugar if they need some extra food. And it's really important that you keep that emergency food right on top of the cluster. So if we take this box from the bottom and let's say it's completely empty and we move it up top, then the bees aren't gonna have any food immediately on top of the cluster. And that increases the likelihood that they could starve. So what I'm going to do is just um, pull a couple frames here. These are a little irritated with me. <laughs> what we want to do is just check and be sure they don't have any brood going in this bottom box. So sometimes when you have a really strong hive coming out of winter, um, they will have brood started not only in the, in the upper box, but sometimes it's also in the bottom box too. And they do not. So even though like we're opening this box and you kind of have the illusion that there's a lot of bees in here, there's really not a whole lot going on downstairs. It's really just house cleaning at this point. The frames are pretty empty. Um, if they did have brood, it started in the bottom box. It's usually going to be along the top of the frame. And so that again is another reason why I don't like reversing boxes because if they've got brood up here at the top of these frames and we take this entire box and move it on upstairs like this, then you have your brood up here and this enormous empty space. It's kind of like you've broken up the brood nest because you know they're also brooded up in here as well. So that's just one other reason why I don't really, don't really like reversing boxes. I'm just gonna check a couple more here and be sure they don't have anything going on in these. Yep, this box is pretty much empty. So what we're going to do then um, is just remove this bottom box entirely. I'm gonna loosen up my mouse guard here. We're not really ready to take the mouse guards off entirely, but I do have it kind of stapled onto this bottom box. So we're just gonna loosen it up. And this can 
also be a really good opportunity to kind of clean off the, the bottom board of the hive. So usually you've got kind of some sugar that has fallen and then maybe some dead bees that have fallen off your cluster over the course of the, of the winter. And you can, I mean, the bees will clean this off, but it kind of saves them a lot of time and energy if we do it for them. So just real quickly scrape all that stuff off of there. That'll help them out a little bit. All right. So now we've removed this empty bottom box and we're gonna take the top box that still has quite a bit of weight in it. There's still a lot of honey in here. And the vast majority of the bees are in here and I'm sure they're brooded up inside there as well. And we're gonna make this into our new um, bottom box. And we'll put our shim, our empty deep, back on here. And then the last step in this process is, I'm gonna take the bees off of these um, frames, these empty frames, and we're just gonna real gently kind of shake these in here. So in essence, what we're doing here is we're kind of taking this, this colony that is fairly good size, right? And they were in two boxes and we're kind of condensing them down just into this single deep, um, sort of crowding them a little bit, which I know is kind of counterintuitive. Everybody worries about swarming and that kind of thing, especially in the spring. Um, but it really is too early in our area for swarming at this point. And like I said, there's no actual um, natural nectar coming in yet. So we're not too concerned about crowding these bees a little bit right now. And what we find is that when we um, just kind of snug them down a little bit into a single deep during the month of March, it seems like they, they do a lot better just riding through kind of our um, up and down temperatures that we have this month. They're trying to maintain the temperature and that brood nest they have going. And it really kind of preps them well to grow a lot faster in April when we do start to have dandelions and things blooming. So the main thing that we watch at this point, we keep a really close eye on natural forage. And as soon as we see dandelions starting to bloom, then these empty boxes that we've taken off, this is basically just gonna go in storage for this month. We'll put it in our barn. But as soon as dandelions start blooming, we're gonna get these boxes back out and bring them out here and get them put up on top of this hive because they'll need that room at that point. So that is how we do it. It's a little bit like reversing hive bodies, but we do it in two steps at two different times. So I hope that helps answer some questions for you.